What's up, everybody? This is episode 20, and Chavo stops by. What up? It's your boy Chavo, aka Mexican Clark Kent. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Yo, so Chavo, so let me know what's up with you, man. Like, let me know, like, when you first started the scene, what you did with, uh, uh, what's that? What's the, what's the game store you had? Uh, I used to have a game store called Vortex Gaming and Repair. It was a pretty fun spot. Got into some SoCal down there. You yeah, know. I love SoCal, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we try to get some fighting games, but mostly it was SoCal or Ultimate Marvel. We also did trading card games and uh, computer repair and all that good stuff. Yeah. That was back in the day. So where are you? So where are you at now with Smash and stuff? Like uh, now at Smash, hitting that PR all the time. Yeah, you know, like I don't really, left and right. I don't go. really have goals. It's weird. I like, know you don't. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like I just show up I here. I know you don't. Half the time I complain for no reason. Like that's yeah, all good though. I'll kill someone at twenty percent and then I'll complain five minutes later just about randomest thing you could think of. Dude, is uh, everyone gonna stop late, bro? No, light's a monster. Light is well deserving of a higher PGR spot than he even has. Like, what was his X Factor? Plus, like, 23 or something? Like, uh, if they had him where he was, like, where the panel Alright, so where do, you, where do you think he should have placed on the PGR? I think if you put Light up against top 50 PGR, I think he's above 20. I do. Like, 24, 25? I think he's, like, 19. And, like, you know, he proves it constantly, left and left, right. It's just... You know, he just doesn't go to enough majors. He needs to get out there. He needs to get travel. I hear he's going to have a sponsor soon, so that is going to be really good for him. Yeah, I hope so, man. I hope he gets a good sponsor. Um, he deserves it. Yeah, so how do you and uh, Flashpoint, how did that all mix up? Oh, Flashpoint. So what happened was I hitched my train onto Johnny's, you know. Oh, I was Koga. like, I was like, yeah, Koga, you know. Yeah, at Flashpoint, we team all the time. We're like static partners. Get me on this. Yeah. Like, let's make Flashpoint great again. <laughs> and, and you know i sold my case I, I i stated my credentials i approached them and we had a few conversations back and forth and we found something that works for the both of us and i've been with them ever since and i love them they're great Lo bovi the guy who runs it the owner he is just the best like met him out in evo like for the first time I actually hung out with him yeah he, he gave me the royalty treatment bro i was in the the box seats at the the finals nice. like can't beat it. Is he is he coming to uh, Super Smash Con? You know, I don't know. I hope he does because I want to get him on the show because I'm bringing my stuff out oh, there. Yeah, yeah he's, have, he's a yeah. good dude. Right, what about Frostbite? You going out to that? I'm going on the Frostbite. I'll be right. interviewing oh, oh, people yeah, out yeah, there. Right there. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Right. Right. Nah. Yo, I'm, I'm tweeting to Frostbite, trying to get them to get some DBZ fighters up in there, you know, or Dragon Ball fighters. Uh, <laughs> well, I think it's a little bit too last minute because they only have a thousand passes total and they're already i think they only have 100 left so like if they randomly like do like hey dbz like they have 100 passes it's left. pretty yeah. late but i'm bringing my setup and i will be taking money matches all day every yeah, day let's go you meet me in smash i'll take a money match there we'll swap set outs i don't care like money matches let's go so so anything else new with you man like anything else you're working on oh uh, you know always always trying to perfect the craft you know always trying to get better but like ct so st it's just tough it's it's there's a wall here and it used to be light and lean lean yeah and like it was just like you're not getting past lean lean so don't even bother worrying about light yeah, yeah. now lean lean's gone and it's like it's the wild west everyone's fighting for that spot yeah like you I got mean, the, scott's doing like real well you like... got the sin brothers there who are both phenomenal players mm. I, i'd say Glare is probably the best Bayo in New England right now. Uh, he's been putting in a lot of work in. Mm. I'm going I'm to keep that second spot for me, though. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But he's been putting a lot of work in, and Scott is just a monster. Like, if he just tightened up in, on the bad matchups that he had, he, he would just be unstoppable. But he's, he's really loose on the, like, he loses to a DDD or something like that, and it's just like, he needs to find, like, he, well, he's been working on his cloud. So okay. we'll, see, that. we'll see how that works. Okay, um, so you're going to Frostbite. What else What else is in store for this going year? Going to Frostbite, I'm more than likely, is like a 70% chance going to Evo. Uh, okay. And it's highly likely I'll be going to CEO as well. Okay, Super Smash Guy and Big House, like, what about those? I, I've never gone to either of those. Um, it really depends on if they have enough games for me. Because, like, right now I'm trying to branch out into fighters as well. Yeah. So if they're, they're having some fighters things, there's a definite possibility. Uh 
Yeah, I'm we're really trying to hit up things that have multiple games, though. Yeah, we got a uh, we have Battle Dome this weekend at uh at what Platinum Platinum City Gaming. They're doing their thing. I don't know if you're going down for that, but uh I'm gonna yeah, look man, into, like gonna look into it. I don't know. I think like DBZ is gonna help other games out too because it's like DB. I think DBZ is gonna bring in a strong crowd and then there's like hey there's tekken and there's marvel and there's other games i might as well play those too you know like yeah dbz seems like the unity of all games honestly yeah i think i've talked just to marvel players everything. i've talked to smash players and both of them both sides are equally excited for a game of this caliber not only does it already have its own fan base but yeah. its gameplay is really unique yeah i just i just really hope a lot of people support dbz man i do too and you know it's, it's important for local people to get out there whether you think you're gonna win or not mm -hmm. you need to get to the scene you need to support it and make it thrive and then really talk to people who are beating you and get matches with them learn nobody yeah. nobody here is gonna say no we all yeah. give matches we all give advice tips whatever we do it yeah so we got the the weekly Fridays for DBZ at Underworld Games. I hope everyone comes we up for that. We in there Fridays? We in there Fridays, bro. Um, yeah. What else? Yo, Smash and Splash. Smash and Splash. I hear it's going to be. It's Go in Washington, that, right? No. Where is it? It's in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. There, I knew it was a W. Yeah, I, but dude, I knew we, it, me, Clipboards, and Scott went there last year. Unbelievable, man. We, like, the minute they announced it, we already booked their room. Like, really? I told Clipboard, I was like, yo, book their room right now. That's what I did for Frostbite. As <laughs> soon as that was up, I was yeah. like. 24-hour venue you got yeah, it, it was it's this i believe it's the same hotel that big house six was in okay which is i love that hotel man it was awesome but okay. i think uh, that big house moved because they uh they outgrew that space but you know good for them but yeah like i wish more like smash tournaments would host other fighters you know like yeah i understand like you know they're a smash event first but like right you know, it's like branch out to like other stuff, you know. I think a lot, I, from what I've heard, a lot of Smash players don't play other fighting games. Yeah. Like they don't really dab into these things. But like I said, the the excitement for fighters everywhere I go, I always talk about it because I'm I'm a fanboy. Yeah. Like Vegeta's my dude. So is me. Oh yeah. my god, Vegeta needs his, his moment in the sunlight. But uh, yeah, I just talk to it. Everybody I meet and everybody's hyped. You know. I'm really ecstatic about it. I can't wait for it to, to happen. Yeah, me too, man. Three, you got to get out here on away, Fridays. Man. Yeah, dude. Th like, that's where it's at, man. Like, that's why I'm, like, pushing so hard. I'm, like, I'm coming out with, like, some content, like, all day. Just, like, just talking about, like, community stuff and, like, how people should, like, go out and support, you know, or support their scene and whatnot. But I don't know, man. Like... It's tough. Like, I want to expand the store, too, and stuff, but... Yeah, but you can't, you can't do it on just Smash. We need to get... I know. That's why That's why if, if Friday starts popping off at UG, man, like, it'll help the store out a lot. I also put, like, if you come Friday soon, you can compete in any event, you get three tickets, and then I'm giving away either you can win a Switch or a PS4 with Dragon Ball Z. All right, so, so. what you're saying is Anita's going to come here and win both of them. Yo, yeah, man, like... <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> she's a monster at raffles. She's got a gift. Well, she, she she's banned from this one. She's nah. banned? All right. <laughs> Anita, I'm sorry. You heard it here first. You're banned. Nah, it's all good, though. So, any, uh, any last thoughts, bro? You know, I'm really pumped. I know Ajax has been working on, like, watching a lot of streams for fighters. He wants to commentate that really hard, and he wants to go into it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, like, I just can't stress enough. Even if you're not going to play in the tournament, come here Friday. Yeah. Meet people, play casuals, do whatever you got to do. Fucking commentate. Yeah, we Make need commentators. Make CT but... a threat in this game because we don't have anything. Like, we have Smash. And, you know, we're a threat in Smash. We're, we're a strong little state. But let, let's bring it to another fight game. Let's, let's, let's show them we're no joke. Yeah, man, that's what I've been trying to do with, like, UG, man. Like, uh, like a lot of players, like, especially, like, like, like even a light told me, it was like, dude, like, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't, like, for UG weeklies and shit like that. Yeah, I mean. So, I mean, like, you know, that's, that makes me feel good that, like, UG is moving in the, the right direction, but it just needs, like, more support of, like, different games and stuff, like. Right. Like, struggling with the melee scene, like, I just can't get a weekly out. PM scene is just, like, ups and downs on Mondays. It's just, like, I don't know, because, like, every store in Connecticut has, like, their own game. So, like, it's hard for people to switch, for, like, off their weekly to come to someone else's weekly because they already have, like, their work scheduled or, you know, or whatever worked out already. But I You don't put know. your heart into the store. We know it, you know. And the thing is, like, 
you get, you're gonna hear complaints left and right, no matter what. Oh, people love to complain. Com yeah, but compete. the thing is, like, as a store owner, like as a business owner myself, at one point in my life, you know, I know how little like this is about money and how much it is about passion. Yeah. And that that's the passion will get yeah, you. Yeah, because I I own this store only for the community. Because like, I can go out and vendor at all events. I don't need to yeah. store the vendor. So like, if the store closes down, it's not. It's not going to hurt me personally because I can go out and vendor and I can, you know, make my living that way. But, like, I just open the store for the community, man, and try to keep it, the doors open for That's the community. That's why people need to come it. here and they need to support your local scene, support your local TO, and get in here. Support us. Like, I want to play people. Like, it killed me with Ultimate Marvel. Like, Dude. Or Marvel Infinite, I'm sorry. It, yeah, it like, killed me. I really wanted it to be a scene. I really wanted it to grow with people in that. And it just didn't pick I'm, up. I'm just hoping, like, DBZ, like, helps like helps boost like marvel and stuff like if we get let's just say like 30 people here for dbz and there's like 10 heads like oh we got marvel i can play that too and it, and maybe it's that starts something or you know yeah. or or tekken starts popping off or tree fighter or whatever the fucking new games are coming out man they got like one coming out every week man if you guys got requests let them know you know if you want to host it or have him host a tournament for you for a game a niche game that you like let them know what's the worst that can happen yeah, like, I'm trying to get, like, Rivals of Ether and stuff, but, like, you know, like... I'll play that. I play everything, though. Like, what about Brawlhalla? I'll play it. I want... You know what I want to get, a, like, a small, like, scene for? Uh, What's it called? Brawl Out for the Switch? I have not played that yet, though. It just looks fun. It, it, it? it looks, like... It looks different. I mean, yeah, it looks like Smash, but whatever, but, like, it just looks different, you know, like... Yeah. If any of you people watching this have played that game, like, comment on this, because I don't know what it's like. Let me know. Yeah. Educate me, please. All right, guys. Do all that fun stuff. Like, subscribe. Leave comments. Let us know. I will answer every single comment, because I have nothing else to do. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, uh, the man has plenty to do. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, He's hustling. He's, he's a hard worker. I'm trying, man. Sup support the store here. There you go. Right there. Yeah, boy. All right, so guys, we'll see you at Frostbite. Do Adam? some uh, pre-ordering. I put a tweet out. I'm doing some uh, Frostbite gear, some pillows, and some uh, and some pearly beads and stuff. So check that out. Get on it. And somebody, somebody, please buy this bead life-size replica of light hair. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> that is a beaut. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So when I was at Genesis, people were like, "Yo, who's that?" I'm like, "That's light." They're like, "Oh, that's light." The guy from CT. I'm like. Yeah, let's yeah, go. They're naming off every other person. I'm like, yeah. what's that guy doing? Yeah, who's that guy? <laughs> Local legend. Local yeah, legend. He'll get there, though. All right, guys. Episode 20 done in the books. Nutrio Show. Follow, like, subscribe. All right, we out. Peace.